Hi, my name is Sam Coffey. I'm a midfielder from Sleepy Hollow, New York. I play college soccer at Penn State, and I'm so excited to be a Portland Thorn. I was drafted this past January in the 2021 draft. It did not go at all how I thought it would when I had dreamt of that day happening as a young soccer player, but um, in so many ways it was even sweeter than I ever could have imagined. I was in my house alone in my room um, in State College, Pennsylvania. Uh, I unfortunately was alone because I had gotten exposed to the coronavirus earlier that week and so I was in bed, actually in the same pajamas that I'm wearing right now. Uh, I was on FaceTime with my parents through the whole thing, um, was able to call my coaches after I finally did hear my name get called. Um, and so I had the same love and support that I think I would have had there in person. Um, but it was just a surreal moment and definitely a incredible story that I'll tell for the rest of my life. This past year, my 2021 um, has been such a transformational year for me as a person, as a soccer player. Um, I've been through a lot of adversity. I've learned so many lessons. Um, and I think what I want Thorns fans to know is that I'm bringing all of that with me to Portland. I want to bring it as a soccer player. I want to bring it as a person. And of course, I just want to continue to learn and continue to grow and just give my all to this organization. And I'm just counting down the days until I can get there. I never expected that I'd be drafted in the middle of a pandemic and that it would happen over Zoom and that I wouldn't really know that I was eligible for it till like a week before. Um, but I think what I feel most in reflecting on that day is just gratitude um, and excitement. I think it was so weird to hear your name and then wait a year and play college soccer while still knowing that you're gonna be a thorn and the excitement and kind of confusion that goes along with that. Closing this chapter on my college career has been so emotional, but one of the greatest emotions I've been feeling too is just excitement to, to get started in Portland. And it's been something I've been talking about for a year. And I think about that day in January and how, how long ago that seems. And I'm just so excited and I can't believe that the time is finally here and I'm just so ready to get to work. Where do I hope 2022 will take me? I didn't think 2021 was going to take me where it did. I think I had expectations for how it was going to go. Um, and they were not met, they were exceeded in a way I could have never ever written or imagined. And so I'm just hoping that 2022 one, of course, will bring me to Portland, will bring me to my new team, my new family out there. Um, it's a new place somewhere I've never been before. I'm letting go of expectations and I'm just ready for this adventure. I'm ready to have fun. I'm ready to work, um, give it my all and just learn as many lessons as I can and grow along the way. And of course, take with me everything that I've, I've gained and I've learned in this past year um, of college soccer and of just growth as a person. I do hope that it leads us to an NWSL championship, which I cannot wait um, to be a part of with the Thorns organization. So let's go do this thing. Travis, that was Sam Coffey. A lot to be excited about there. She's obviously very excited to get to Portland. Tell us from your point of view, somebody that's watched Sam Coffey's career at Penn State, what can Thorns fans expect from her next year? Yeah, I would expect a, a lot of chance creation from her. The The strengths of her game, the fit at her for her in the NWSL level will, will come down to a lot about her development as a two-way player, right? You see the attacking midfielders, the, the players that are play a little bit higher in formation, you know, your four, two, three ones playing up underneath a striker. There's a big adjustment to make when looking at her for the college game. So I think that fit for her will be interesting, but she does, you know, she knows how to pick a pass. She knows how to find the back of the net, even though I, I don't, I wouldn't expect to see that right away just because, you know, the thorns have some decent firepower already as it is. So, you know, if you're, you know, if she's on the field, I would expect to see her maybe getting a chance of taking corner kicks, taking free kicks, She's a bit of a, you know, she's definitely a set piece specialist, but uh, the the piece to her piece to her game, you know, the the run of play, I want to see her grow into that because I think she has that those those characteristics in the final third that you want to see from a player, you know, you know whether that's you know spotting runners in behind a back line or you know connecting with your with her with the forwards up front, you know, she can do all of that. But you know, defensively, what's her work rate like going to be there? You, you know, that's going to be a big part of how much playing time she's going to get because, you know, the NWSL game, it's quicker, it's more athletic than the college game, obviously. So as long as she can adjust and really, you know, harness the speed of play there, I think, you know, you could see a lot more of her, you know, sooner rather than later.